This is CNET, and here are the stories that matter right now. The Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are out in stores right now. The S8 earned high marks in our review thanks to its beautiful appearance and fast performance. One issue we had was the awkward placement of the fingerprint scanner on the rear of the device. If you're on the fence about getting an S8, head to a store to see if that fingerprint scanner location is a deal breaker. Facebook held its annual F8 conference and showed off how its technology will bring augmented reality to its apps by adding digital effects that seamlessly integrate within real life images. Facebook also released Facebook Spaces, a new way to interact with up to three people in virtual reality. Facebook Spaces is available as a beta for Oculus Rift and Touch. Messenger also got some new features, including a discovery option that makes it easier for people to find bots. Eurogamer reports that Nintendo will introduce a miniature version of the Super Nintendo late this year, but in time for the holiday season. The report also says the introduction of the mini SNES was a major factor in Nintendo's decision to discontinue the NES Classic. Google pushed an update to its smart speaker, Google Home. The device will be able to support up to six users by distinguishing their voices. That means multiple Google accounts can be accessed on a single Google Home speaker. Google says that users should not rely on voice identification as a security feature, though. Stay up to date with the latest by downloading the CNET Tech Today app, available for iOS and Android.